Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This pick a card is for the new year 2022. We want to see with this pick a card what is the theme of your new year. So if you have not as of yet chosen a card or a crystal on the table here, go ahead and do that now. There are timestamps down below in the description box where you can go to a portion of the video that is focused solely on the cards and a picture clip of the cards and a still shot of the cards themselves. Um, Go to that portion of the video, pause where necessary, take as much time as you need in order to choose your card or crystal on the table. And if during that time you feel led to pick more than one card or crystal, by all means, always listen to your intuition. That's always going to be highly encouraged here. Pick more than one if you feel it necessary. These readings are timeless, so whether you watch at the upload time or sometime later down the road, whenever it's placed into your awareness and you feel that intuitive nudge to watch, there could be a message here for you. Nonetheless, what I always say is that these readings are general can't possibly expect to connect with each and every one of you that clicks and watches this video although I hope you manage to find a message here but if you don't that is okay I trust that the universe will guide you to the right message that you need at this time for your journey but what I always say is just in case this reading does not resonate with you maybe consider checking out my pick a card playlist before you click off my channel altogether because I've done a bunch of pick a card readings that are already there, you could find another one in there somewhere that has the messages you are looking for. So with all that being said, Star Family, I'll go ahead and leave you here and we'll go directly to your reading of choice. Happy New Year! Well, number one viewers, you chose the Ace of Pentacles and Citrine as your crystal. So I'm going to put that there. There's your card. So I chose uh, all aces because I figured, you know what? I mean, New Year's are new beginnings, right? And aces do represent new beginnings. So let's go ahead and start with um, an oracle card. We're going to be using here the, um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can reach for the box. Um, the Sacred Destiny. Sacred Destiny Oracle. So let's see. One card, the theme of your new year. Pile number one, viewers. The theme of your new year 2022. One card. Right, and I have the Goddess Guidance as well. The theme of your new year, pile number one. The theme of your new year, 2022. Pile number one, viewers. Whoa, okay. So we have two cards here, and I'm going to grab the tarot in just a second. I'm going to be using the Orion's Animal Tarot. So let's see. Ah, look at that piece. There is no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. Wow. Okay. So that's reassurance and fulfillment. Oh my gosh. Can this get any better? And the peach is also, if I remember correctly, a symbol of abundance. So what this is telling me is that the theme of your new year, 2022, is all about peace and fulfillment, peace within, peace outside of yourself in your everyday environment, fulfillment, and also clarity I'm feeling and the reason for that is is the moon oftentimes will come up to indicate something that we maybe are uncertain of and I think that's why this card is here to say look there's no need to worry everything is working out beautifully even in the midst of your uncertainty right now everything's working out under the surface where you maybe can't see it um, because the moon creates like a veil right over our situation where we can't see things for you know with 100% certainty or clarity this is saying that even though you don't have 100% certainty or clarity over, you know, the way maybe things are headed, this is telling me that that fog is going to lift. You will have the peace and the certainty that you're looking for. You are headed in the direction of fulfillment, your peace of mind. You are, your overall well-being and sense of well-being is what is at the forefront right now. You will have your fulfillment. You will have your abundance, okay, with this beautiful fruit here. And it feels like this is uh, a time where you're entering a time of harvest in the new year. Where you're going to be able to pluck the fruit down, right, of the seeds that you have planted. So when I think of that, I think of fulfillment in the sense of manifestations. You've planted the seeds, now they're bearing fruit, and it's soon time to reap your harvest and rewards. We also have grapes in this picture. And in certain cultures and traditions at the new year, you do, you do eat grapes, right? So that to me is also a symbol of fulfillment in that sense of reaping your harvest or, or <clears throat> excuse me, plucking down the fruit from the tree 
and the seed that you've planted because it's taken root now it's growing and it's bearing fruit where you'll be able to see it in material form now so all the, I, I even want to say is as far as like the seeds that you have planted in the previous year in 2021 are now in 2022 starting to yield a harvest yield a fruit right so again the orion's animal tarot let me see if i can grab the book here and it's a new a new deck recently donated by Roberta. Thank you so much, Roberta. I love you so much. Um, thank you for this gorgeous deck. The artwork is pretty phenomenal and you'll see it in just a moment. I have the book on hand because if there's anything that I'm confused about, um, because it's a new deck, I will reach for it just to verify what I'm seeing. So let's see. Pile number one, the theme of your new year seems like abundant. Abundance is coming your way. Peace of mind. Security is coming your way because when you have peace of mind, you feel secure in yourself, in your surroundings, in your environment. Clarity upon your path is also on the way. Um, the theme of your new year is all about peace and fulfillment. And reaching for the fruit, the materialized fruit of the seeds that you have previously planted. So manifestations being realized and achieved in 2022, problem number one viewers. The physical materialization and manifestation of that fruit. All right, so let's see, three cards. The two of swords. That's that weird space of not having 100% certainty or clarity, right? We have the temperance, which is Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be Sag or have that somewhere in your chart. Nonetheless, this is all about healing and alchemizing of energy. And the moon, right? We have the moon here. So, okay, I am going to reach for the deck and grab from the top the Six of Cups. Okay. So, again, it's just talking about, I feel like this is talking about present energy, right? Because... The moon and the six of cups are both cards of, like for one, the six of cups is an energy of nostalgia, right? The moon is a card of oftentimes uncertainty and not really sensing the path ahead, but you go intuitively anyway. And you are entering a period of healing, so you're reaching your peace of mind, but there's still this uncertainty. I've got one, actually one, two, and somewhat three cards here of uncertainty on the table. So it kind of feels like at the moment, your present focus is that, like that weird in-between space of the Two of Swords. Or sometimes where you don't know what decision to make, you sit and don't decide anything. But not deciding is still deciding to do nothing, right? And oftentimes you don't make a decision until you have the certainty that you're looking for. But part of me is feeling like with this energy here... You are safe, you're, you're healed, you're coming into alignment with the temperance energy, you're reaching a period of balance and harmony... The certainty in the fog will lift, okay? And when is it ever a good time? Sometimes we have to just roll with the punches. We have to just trust our intuition with the moon and take action in the direction of our heart in the way that it's guiding us because otherwise we might have shoulda, couldas, and wouldas and regrets looking back on the past and have regrets about the things that we could have done but didn't do. All right, so that's just some advice and guidance there, all right? Let's see, one more card. There's a longing here for something with the Six of Cups energy that wants to be fulfilled. However, the need for action, right, I feel in the cards so far at this stage in the game is a little lacking. Okay, sorry, I apologize for my little man there. He just goes off. Um, so let's see the page of pentacles. Okay. And that's what we want to see. We want to see the initiation, right? Look at the grasshopper and grasshopper is such lucky animal medicine. Okay. It's fortune. It's good luck. Okay. So I'm looking at this, like luck is on your side. You just can't hold yourself back by indecision with the two uh, swords. 2022, I think, is the year where you gain peace, clarity, and a sense of security enough in yourself. You'll, you'll have peace of mind within yourself in the sense that you, were, you will learn to trust yourself and your intuition 
towards the decisions that you have for yourself and your life. Page of Pentacles, any page really is a student of life. They are stepping into the new. Pages are the initial physical investment, right? Earthly energy. Physical investment into something new. Sometimes it can speak of study. Sometimes it can speak of a of a a business endeavor or something that you invest in when it comes to your earthly life. Could be an investment in yourself, could be an investment in something physical or tangible, but nonetheless, it's the first step. And sometimes that's where we, we have to get to that place where we're ready to take the first step. And it feels like 2022, the theme of your year is you trusting yourself more and getting out of this state of a stalemate or indecision with the two of swords and stepping into okay the action because pentacles are tangible things that you can see touch hold and smell right um and it's the tangible first step towards something new because pages are new energy so 2022 is the year where you do this where you take tangible steps in the direction of maybe in a new field of study maybe in regards to a new career maybe in the initial investment of something tangible but nonetheless you take the first step and it's the it feels like the tail end of maybe 2021 is still in this energy of un, undecided or I'm not sure but the reason why you're you're not in a place where you're ready to take the first step like the page of cups yet you will be though, um, is because you're still with the temperance, I believe, going through a period of healing. Okay. 2022 is leading you to the path of your fulfillment, leading you to the path of actually plucking the fruit from the seeds and the trees that are, have been planted and are growing and starting to bear fruit. So this is saying that you are moving in the direction of plucking that fruit, taking the first physical tangible step, you're yearning, you're nostalgic for something maybe different than you're now. Um, it does feel like the Six of Cups energy is yearning for that thing. Nostalgic for that place, nostalgic for the future, perhaps even. There's some inner child work maybe that you have been healing with the Temperance and the Six of Cups and also the Moon. Because it, you know, the Moon kind of puts us in a, sh in a little bit of a shadow aspect where we're having to try to understand our inner world. And I think that you're finishing up a healing cycle that has kept you in kind of that stalemate energy in order to prepare you to pursue with the page this new thing and to pluck down the fruit of the seeds you've already planted. You're entering a period of fulfillment, abundance, and peace of mind, which is going to give you the comfort and security um, that you're looking for to take the action that maybe has been kind of put on the back burner. Okay. Let's see. This is the flower petals oracle. Also, um, I'm going to even add an additional layer to this, okay? I do see a situation in these cards that there has been maybe a love situation with the Six of Cups. Sometimes the Six of Cups can speak of like a soulmate, kindred spirit energy, somebody that we can't forget, somebody that we struggle to let go of, somebody that we always have on our heart. Um, and it could be that this is you healing from the wounds of that situation, alchemizing all of that, transmuting that with the temperance energy and you know we have the crab here so I wonder if somebody's a cancer as well I'll just throw that out there um but there's the transmutation of that situation of maybe somebody that you failed to that you can't fail to forget that you struggle to forget um or let go of but it's like the healing and the transmuting of that pain of that situation of that memory which maybe with the two of swords kept you in a stalemate situation, but finding peace with that scenario, peace with that situation. And now 2022 is a moment where you find peace in that with it for what was and what wasn't. Right? The shouldas, the couldas, and the wouldas, as I mentioned before. And now you're able to, you know, have peace with it and move forward in a new direction to find your peace and fulfillment. 
in other ways. Okay? That's 2022. You finding your peace and your fulfillment in other ways. This is about movement forward, I also feel, too. So let's see if we can get the Flower Petals or Oracle. Sorry, I'm kind of stumbling over my words right now. <laughs> let's see, two cards. Daffodil. The sun shines brighter. You are here. And then it says, Freesia, this will all be worthwhile. Do you see that? The sun is shining, shining brighter now, okay? Uh, the moon, right? The moon and the fog and the uncertainty of the moon's energy has lifted. You're finding your peace and you're getting your sunshine, okay? And the sun, when the sh sunshine comes after a storm, you know, it, it provides clarity and enlightenment and success. The moon casts shadows, but... The sun exposes everything clearly and we see the way forward with the sun. And the Frisia energy is basically saying this is all going to be worthwhile. This journey into the new with the page, whatever it is you're looking to pursue, whatever it is you're looking to invest in, it's all going to be worth it with this page energy because that is the initiation of something new and it's of a tangible nature. It's something that is going to help you build the foundation towards more secure and stable things. It's the first coin. It's the first brick, right? Um, it's the first coin in the bank. It's the first brick of a foundation being laid. So this is, to me, very, very secure and tangible earth energy. Again, Virgo Capricorn Taurus here, right? Some of you could have that also in your chart. But let's see if we can get a final oracle card here from the Priestess of Light. Pile number one. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it says duality here, number 36, many meanings, misunderstandings. And maybe that's what's clearing up for you too, right? Any misunderstandings. 2022 is going to maybe clear up the misunderstanding so that way you have peace of mind and clarity of mind and you can move forward again, uh, fulfilling your life in other ways. Um, okay. It says the discipline. Disciple Priestess Magdalena sits at the entrance to a cave, a place of retreat. Okay, when I think of retreat, I think of healing, right? That would be the temperance energy too. Um, the skull on her lap indicates her spiritual side, whereas the open book represents her scholarly and educated side. And the Page of Pentacles is a student, oftentimes a learning new, a new skill. Okay. Uh, there's a John Waterhouse painting. I think it's called The Priestess um, that this reminds me of. Um, it says, Her red dress and white sash beneath her are symbols of the divine feminine and divine masculine combined. Wait a minute here. We have the temperance energy, right? The temperance is that alchemy. It is that transmutation of forces, divine, feminine, masculine. That's why it's always... Uh, shown with the two cups okay your life is also full of dualities you are at the same time masculine and feminine physical and ethereal fully human and fully divine thus this or this card encourages you to explore all these true yet diverse aspects of yourself it may feel strange to dive into new spiritual practices if you've always been physically oriented an active masculine approach to life may feel unnatural if you're traditionally been in a more reflective and feminine mode but these deeper layers of you or yourself now long to be expressed in opening up to these experiences you will tap important into important previously unknown strengths and talents and widen the scope of your spiritual your personal and even your professional life finally there is a message of warning in this card regarding distorted perceptions magdalena or mary mary magdalene has been historically misunderstood called a prostitute when she was actually an educated landowner be conscious of the ways you may be misunderstood and be courageous in your intention to live your own life and stand in your truth also be aware of any misunderstandings you carry about yourself right um because again we have to be careful of the narrative that we tell ourselves right the things that we tell ourselves create the world we live in um, it says any limiting or 
judgmental notions must be set aside. A clear understanding of your truth requires you to embrace your divine nature, the most gracious and powerful part of your many faceted sparkling identity. It says, affirmation, I'm willing to explore the many wonderful sides of my nature. I am open to understanding the depth of my truth and expressing that to others. So yeah, I do feel that you're coming into understanding yourself better maybe in 2022 as well and maybe freeing yourself of any misconceptions or previous paradigm or belief systems that you've carried that may have limited you. I think you're getting rid of that energy and you're healing and transmuting all of that energy, which is then empowering you with the page of pentacles to seek your peace and fulfillment and new tangible things, right? The sun is shining on you. You're now moving into a period where you're able to pluck that fruit from the tree of the seeds that you've planted. And this is all going to be worthwhile. This healing journey, this transmutative journey that you've been on in 2022 or that you have been cleaning up. I feel a lot of this has been cleaning itself up, but you've been cleaning it up in the last year. And this is what you're headed into the full tangible steps needed to be taken to access the fruit of the seeds that you have been planting. Okay. So. That is your reading pile number one viewers. If you feel that this has helped you or connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Every interaction helps the channel grow, reach more people, find who it needs to. And if you ever want to take it a step further to support what I do, visit me on Etsy. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have handmade crystal jewelry there. I make with my two hands, Tektite, Moldavite, um, crystals and Libyan Desert <laughs> glass as well. Um, and I have light language activations and personal readings when available. So much up to you. Take care and have a wonderful new year. Pile number two viewers, you chose this lovely piece of carnelian as your crystal. Get this other one out of the way. And I have uh, here the Ace of Wands or Ace of Clubs as your card. I chose the Aces for the new year reading because I figured you know what new year new beginnings let's go with the aces so I'm going to start here with the sacred destiny oracle one card for 2022 what is the theme of your new year pile number two viewers whoa okay so what do we have here we have two that flipped over to give us our face the face hold on we have success taking risks and be being in flow holy cow nice so let's see if we can get one card from the Goddess Guidance for your New Year 2022 pile number two viewers. The theme of your new year. Okay. We have the High Priestess. Nice. It says you have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. So some of you might be light workers, right? Okay, so the theme of your new year. Pile number two viewers. Looks like you will be taking risks, leaps of faith, and you're going to be trusting spirit because we have the hawk energy here in this card. You're going to be trusting spirit a lot more uh, in the new year. You are flowing in the direction of your success and your achievement. Okay, you're stepping into your spiritual prowess. Okay, here with the cat or the, um, the panther. So you're stepping into your personal spiritual power here, reaching for new levels of success. And you are more in flow in the direction of your success than you have been in some time. Things might be flowing a lot easier to you in 2022. Success might be flowing to you a lot easier in 2022. You're willing to take more risks because you're trusting in yourself. You're trusting in your spiritual know-how and knowing you're gaining things also from a different and higher perspective here with the hawk energy. You're feeling more confident in yourself through the knowledge that you've gained in your journey. And 2022 is you exercising your personal power, your spiritual, again, prowess into the new year. And you're flowing in the direction of your success. You're wi more willing to take risks than you normally have, would have before because you're more courageous and more confident in yourself so 2022 is the year where you start to do the things that maybe at one time you were scared to do but you're not scared to do them anymore because you're trusting yourself and you're trusting in spirit and the guidance um that you listen to within okay high priestess 
So let's see the theme of your new year. Let me make sure I have the whole, hold on, the whole, I don't have the whole deck upside down. Okay. So the theme of your new year, pile number two viewers. The theme of your new year, pile number two viewers. So we have the judgment energy, which is all about freeing yourself. That looks like it's that looks like a cicada. Uh, cicadas have amazing animal mess uh, messages or meanings behind them. I would maybe research that. Um, it is all about renewal and rebirth and transformation. Okay, we have the King of Cups. This is you following your heart and trusting your intuition, trusting your inner knowing and the inner guidance that your heart uh, gives you. Um, and the stability, right? Because flamingos stand on one leg, but nonetheless, they are stable and secure. Even standing on one leg, they're able to balance themselves to perfection. Um, so I feel like you are more balanced. 2022 is a year where you become more balanced and you are truly letting go and releasing the old things and you are being reborn and renewed, reinvented in 2022. You're freeing yourself of the confines of the past to truly become your greatest, most, most transformed self. And you're listening to your heart and inner knowing more and you're following through with the way that your intuitive nudges are guiding you through your heart space. Okay, I feel also with the King of Cups, your heart space is definitely more activated and open. Oh, look at that. And the Nine of Cups. Uh-huh. Nine of Cups is complete fulfillment in a sense where it's like you on a personal level are fulfilled. The Ten of Cups is, you know, giving you the whole picture, maybe that fulfillment with somebody else. But nonetheless, it's an amazing card because it's giving you a wish. And that wish, a lot of that wish is coming true for you in 2022 because you've been loyal to your heart. You've been loyal to your vision. You've been loyal to the things that perhaps you have um, always held on your heart. Okay. So 2022 is a year where you get the things on your heart. You go in the direction of them. And a lot of that is coming about because you are truly free of a difficult cycle in the past. Cicadas, okay, sing a beautiful song, right? And they do mate when they come up to the surface. See, the thing is, is that I have a video. I'm going to have to link it down below where I talk about the cicada medicines because the, the cicadas were actually brooding in my backyard and it takes 17 years okay for them to get to a point where where they're ready to come up to the surface in order to mate and sing their beautiful song okay and it's fertility right it's a mating frenzy taking place at that time there's so much transformation as well taking place because they come out of their shells and you know, they, they're able to spread their wings during that season, mating season as well. So you are either in 2022 closing out a major cycle, which is going to put you in alignment with maybe someone special or something special, which is going to bring you this wish fulfillment that you have been with the dog energy, very loyal to. Okay. And whatever this wish is, Whatever this vision is that you have been uh, absolutely loyal to is stable and secure and balanced and very much in alignment with your higher self, very much in alignment with your heart. So you're succeeding, you're entering a period of success. And a lot of that is because there has been a spiritual transformation here, okay? You become maybe the high priestess in your own right and you're trusting again yourself and a lot of that trust in yourself has allowed you to release a lot of the limitations that would have kept you like a cicada maybe right underground for 17 years <laughs> um maybe maybe the there maybe the cycle that you're closing out with this judgment card maybe was that long but everything in good time, right? Everything when it's meant to. It's a process to get that cicada ready to come up to the surface. It's a process. There's a lot going on underneath the surface that oftentimes we can't see. This is about your emergence. Your emergence into the full 
vision of yourself standing tall and erect, right? Like the King of Cups Flamingo. Now ready to conquer with courage and confidence the vision that you have been loyal to this entire time. 2022 is going to help you access that. 2022 is going to bring you the vision that you have been loyal to. Spirit is going to give you the confidence to take risks towards those things that you have held on your heart and flow in the direction to them with ease, okay? You are in flow now towards the wish that you have on your heart. That wish could be a King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person, maybe, right? Um, that could be also something else entirely. It could be a wish... A manifestation that you've held on your heart that's going to bring you the success that and personal fulfillment that you've been looking for maybe in your spiritual life maybe even in your physical everyday world and environment but whatever this is you're moving and flowing in the direction of it and water is very um it's it's an energy that obviously flows in a certain direction right but we never want to swim against the current in a sense because we just with resistance make things harder that way this is basically you you flowing with ease not against the current but with it flowing with the current in the direction of your nine of cups your happiness your joy your your fulfillment your satisfaction okay you're leveling up you've gained your crown over here with the high priestess energy right you gained your spiritual crown you maybe even activated it. Like I said, I was feeling your heart uh, center activated too in 2022, but I also feel you activating your crown on a whole nother level as well. And it is putting you on the path in co-creation with spirit to reach this nine of cups. The loyalty energy, loyal love maybe with the King of Cups as well as what you're encountering in 2022. And that might be the theme of your new year is where you encounter love on a very loyal and high vibrational with the crown energy uh, level, right? Or vibe. Um, but nonetheless, this is you also activating your own heart chakra energy, leveling you up in your own spiritual journey to put you in flow and in the direction of your wish fulfillment because you've been loyal to that vision okay i'm using the flower petals oracle here let's see whoa okay that's three that flipped over hold on all right chrysanthemum energy says be here always with willing hands and heart there you go with the king of cups right we have the aster it says the past is over. Let your true self step forward like the star that you are, right? Because it's a it's a root word uh, for star, aster. Um, and that would be tied into the judgment energy, right? Where you're letting go of the past. The past is over and you're letting your true self step forward and shine like the star that you are. And we have lavender. Take time to cleanse and remove negative energy so you can be in flow. I think you've done that already, right? Lavender is also healing and soothing energy right so again it's feeling more at peace more at ease feeling healed cleansed right all that past has been cleansed away so that way you can pursue the things that are in alignment with you the things that you have held on your heart um, and that you've been loyal to in your mind's eye and you know spirit so 2022 is a year where you conquer all the things that you have wished for with the nine of cups and in a very stable way and in a very balanced way you are more balanced right for the healing of the past for the releasing and the letting go and because you are in a state of alignment and balance you are going to easily more reach your success and all the things that you wish for you're willing to take risks in the direction of those things too where fear maybe at one time held you back you've healed those things um you're not scared anymore and because you're not scared you're more courageous and stepping into your successes so let's see priestess of light oracle for a final card for you pile number two viewers ah fear victimization loss and lack we have number 34 
all the cards are indicating that you've healed that. And we see that with the judgment energy. Okay. So again, we were talking about healing the fears, getting rid of those things. So you're more, more willing to take risks. So you're more willing to be in flow and be more courageous towards the things that you have on your heart or the things that you hold in your mind's eye vision. Um, so let's see what this card says. The woman on this card stands alone in anxious judgment of her life. She focuses on past losses and assumes there are more to come, right? But that's the thing. Here's the judgment energy in here twice, right? Well, once with the card in here. So let's see what it says because I'm thinking this is you clearing up all this for 2022 so you can take risks, so you can go out and conquer, so you can be more in flow. We see all these gorgeous cards. Um... And if I feel something doesn't resonate, I will point it out, okay? Um, it says, with her fan of owl feathers, she attempts to shield herself from potential hurts, yet the owl on her shoulder can see through her darkness. There you go. And guides her out of her fear and lack consciousness. There you go. Now, granted, we have two birds of prey here, okay? We have the owl and we have the hawk. It looks like a red-tailed hawk. All right, and I think, yeah, that to me is confirmation too. Because owls and, and birds of prey, or birds that obviously fly high or whatever, have a full perspective. They represent spirit, like Horus with the hawk, right? It represents the spirit energy. Um, but let's see here. She attempts to shield herself from potential hurts, yet the owl on her shoulder can see through her darkness and guide her out of her fear and lack consciousness. And I think that's what you've been doing, and I think that's, Maybe what 2021 was all about was you breaking out of that fear and lack consciousness. So it says, the message of this card is clear. No matter what kind of loss you've experienced in the past, it is absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and to redefine your power. Again, uh, panther energy, right? And your high priestess, you've stepped into your crown, you've claimed your throne, you've accessed your personal power. You are no longer the victim of a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own destiny. Damn right. In fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and to see the truth of your eternal courage and power. Damn, that does, not, that does definitely apply, right? This is you doing that work. This is you doing that. Okay, you have left all this behind. When loss comes up in your life, let yourself grieve, but don't define yourself by that experience. Be willing to take charge and set your sights on real solutions and new directions. Taking risks, right? When you take action and view your life with optimism and self-honoring intentions, you become the director of rather than the victim in your own life. The empowered approach may seem strange to you and you may not fully trust yourself yet. I don't believe that. Not with these cards. <laughs> I think you have learned to trust yourself or at least you're in the process of it but 2022 is gonna help you gain the full scope of that trust but this card is telling you that you can no longer live in darkness isolation and fear it is time to let go of your old patterns of people pleasing and passive acceptance of others agendas it's time to take your rightful place as a powerful presence in your world yes you are doing that it says affirmation i let go of feelings of fear and lack it's safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me darn right and go claim your throne go claim your wish fulfillment right go claim the things that you have always wanted for yourself but maybe if at one time you were too scared to go out and pursue this is you going out and pursuing okay you are now willing right over here with willing hands and heart right king of cups the past is over. Let yourself and your true self shine and step forward. Take time to and cleanse and remove negativity. Maybe the negativity of the past that maybe at one time would keep you in a fear state, would keep you in a lack consciousness state. That is what you're clearing away with the judgment energy. 2022 is about you stepping in out of that stuff and into your full potential. Okay. So... Yeah, this is what you're clearing up um, and getting rid of. So that way, 2022 is the year that you go out and conquer your life the way that you want it. 
So much love to you. Pile number two viewers, this is your reading. If you feel that this has helped and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Every interaction helps this channel grow, reach more people, find who it needs to. And if you ever want to support me beyond YouTube, check the link, uh, the link down below. You can visit my Etsy store. I have handmade crystal jewelry I make with my two hands on my free time. I have powerful tech type crystals like Moldavite and Libyan Desert Glass there. And I also have powerful um, light language activation sessions that I do as well as personal readings when available. So much love to you wherever you are. Take care of yourself and always keep shining. Have a blessed and wonderful new year as well. Pile number three viewers, you chose the Ace of Cups. Ace of Hearts, and you chose this wonderful piece of amethyst as your crystal. I decided to give you the aces to choose from because, again, it's a new year and all the aces represent new beginnings. So let's go ahead and get started with an oracle card to see what the theme of your new year is 2022. Let's see. Pile number three, the theme of your new year 2022. Theme of your new year, pile number three. Right. Uh, that's the Sacred Destiny Oracle, and I have the Goddess Guidance Oracle. The theme of your new year, pile number three, viewers. 2022, the theme of your new year. All right, so we have going forward and we have bodies of water spend time near water such as lakes rivers or the ocean to recharge your batteries so i mean if i'm looking at this literally i have to wonder if some of you in 2022 are actually moving to a place where there's water maybe to a coastal city town state maybe near a river <laughs> maybe closer to the ocean maybe you're moving to or toward uh or near a lake um but yeah, I mean, if I'm looking at it literally like that, it could definitely mean that. But what this is also saying to me is that you are moving forward. 2022 is a year where you kind of, the fog lifts, right? And you reach your sunshine. You're moving in the direction of the things that are making you happy. You're moving in the direction of um, a clear line of sight, maybe a clear path towards the things that are going to bring you your success with the sun. So I do feel like, the fog is lifting. You have a clear sense of direction in 2022. That is going to be the theme of your year. And that clear sense of direction is going to guide you to your success. It's going to guide you to things that make you happy. It's going to maybe literally take you somewhere new. The theme of your new year is about moving forward and finding your peace because water is very cleansing, healing, and brings peace. It does recharge your your energy and your batteries. Like if you ever go to the beach and you're there, like, you know, you feel revitalized. You know, you have the sunshine and you have the water. I mean, it's it's the best of both worlds. So I really do feel like you are moving into a period where you're going to be more in flow, more at peace. You're going to feel healed, cleansed, renewed, restored, recharged. 2022 is a year maybe where you focus on that, where you focus on your healing, where you focus on recharging your batteries and maybe prioritizing your own self-care, spending more time with yourself in a sense of honoring, right, your 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 natural rhythms, like your, your flow. Because water does have... Um, High tide and low tide, right? So it's like there's a natural rhythm of the water or the ocean. We have to honor the natural rhythms that we go through within ourselves and within our emo emotional body, right? Because the water is emotional energy. So what I feel like is this is you. 2022 is a year where you focus on that. And you not only take time for your own self-care and honoring the rhythms of your own natural, you know, being. But you, in the process of that self-care you gain a clearer perspective. The fog, again, lifts and the sun comes out, right? The clouds part and the fog lifts and you have a clearer understanding of your journey and where it's taking you. So 2022, the theme of your year is gaining clarity, moving forward, treating yourself better. Maybe some of you are literally moving. Maybe to a place closer to water. 
You're moving in the direction of things that make you happy, that give you peace and calm and healing, that bring you a feeling of, of purpose and success with the sun. You, 2022 is a year you gain clarity and enlightenment on the direction that you're taking your journey. For whatever reason, I just got the vibe of like being totally in control of, of where life is taking you because you have peace of mind, you have clarity and you're more, um, you're more or less the captain of your ship now than you have been more than ever. Okay. So yeah, let's see the theme of your new year, pile number three, 2022. You are definitely maybe leaving something behind, leaving a place behind, going in a new direction, taking a new path and a new journey. But it's completely like with the water energy, completely in flow towards your best and higher self with the sun there representing your your soul, right? The sun, soul, soul, <laughs> right? Um, S-O-U-L. S-O-L, right? Your son, your soul. So, let's see. The theme of your year, 2022. Pile number three viewers. Three cards, please. This is the Orion's Animal Tarot, by the way. Uh, donated by Roberta. Thank you so much, Roberta. So, we have the Knight of Wands, the Six of Swords, which is that energy of moving and finding your peace it is an energy of healing six of swords and it's also about leaving something tumultuous behind you like maybe that's the fog energy right the fog can represent uncertainty or un uh, things that are not clear when the fog lifts you see everything for what it is and what it isn't Knight of Wands is about your passion and moving forward with that passion. It is about travel, movement, speed, action, momentum. Six of Swords also indicates travel. So I can't help but think that in 2022, the theme of your year is about moving, whether it be figurative or literally, maybe moving in the direction of your passion, moving in the direction of things that are going to bring you your happiness, your success, your peace of mind with the Six of Swords, the things that are going to bring you that healing and cleansing energy of the water. Yes, look at that. Another travel card with the three of wands. Do you see that? Absolutely. Looks like a little flying squirrel. So three of wands is all about expectation. And setting your sights on sometimes a distant place or something in the near future and knowing with expectation that it is coming your way. So to me, pile number three is a like heavy indication of actual, maybe literal movement for some of you. Relocating, traveling somewhere, maybe even across the ocean, maybe traveling somewhere near water, um, especially with the dolphin, another animal medicine that's in the water, right? And is an adept swimmer. We also have this weird lionfish here. Um... I think that's what that is. Or it's one of those, I forgot the name of it. Um, it's one of those fish that like are very, very far down deep in the ocean. Um, they're kind of scary looking. <laughs> but I think these swords are piercing that weird fish um, because maybe that's like the deep things within that maybe you've conquered and you've overcome, which now are, again, that fog, the shadow, maybe that you've overcome that is now giving you the freedom to to leave something behind or move past and put things behind you. Six of Swords is definitely that energy. Leaving the tumultuous things behind you and moving in the direction of your peace, your tranquility, your peace of mind, your well-being, your healing, your wholeness, your happiness with the sun. Knight of Wands is all about the power, the passion, the drive, the ambition, the motivation to go after the things that you're fired up about. When the divine spark lights a match, you know, in your heart, or let's say, or in your spirit, you know, the fire doesn't go out. And the Knight of Wands goes out in pursuit of those things. Uh, dolphin energy here. Some of you may be starseeds and Lemurians, so I'll point that out for, you know, my starseed tribes um, out there. 
So I feel like this is you pursuing maybe because I'm saying star seed, you know, the purpose, the soul calling that you have. Um, and you're going in pursuit of that with a passion and a vigor. And it does feel like there's so much water, he water energy here with the dolphin here as well. Um, I have to wonder, you know, if this is you truly flowing, sailing with the Six of Swords in the direction of a soul purpose or calling as well. Three of Wands is, again, you've maybe set the intention, you've put in the work, you've planned, and it's a matter of time before all this comes together. It's that energy, again, of expectancy and waiting and knowing, though. It's not just a wait, just to wait. No, it's knowing that there's a whole world out there. There's the possibilities are endless and it's the expectation that your good is coming to you. Because a lot of times the three of wands can talk about the investment of something and waiting for your ships to come back. It's a return on that investment. It's your dividends paying off. And it can speak of that travel again. So I feel like this is you following your passion, following your purpose. 2022 is a year where you move in the direction of that and you put a lot that you need to put behind you, whether it be physically, uh, emotionally, mentally, you put a lot of that behind you with the Six of Swords. You've healed. You've put all that behind you so you can take action with the Knight of Wands and move forward in the direction of the things that are going to bring you happiness. There is an expectation of a whole world that awaits you. Maybe it's a world that you have envisioned. I say envisioned because of water. Intuitive energy is water. But it's the knowing that you're moving in the direction of it. So I feel like 2022 is like saying here, hey, expect your good. You're making the right moves with the Knight of Wands. Thinking of yourself and prioritizing your well-being in 2022. You have done the work to help you lift yourself up out of the fog. You've done the work to allow the, par the clouds to part so you can reach your sunshine. You are flowing now, moving now with a passion and a desire because you're not letting this flame go out, right? So you're relentless in pursuit of the, th the thing that you have planned or the thing that you hold passionately within yourself, the purpose, I feel. Some of this is your purpose. 2022 is about you per going in the direction of and pursuing your purpose. Some of you are actually maybe traveling to go pursue your purpose or what you feel your destiny is in some way. But this is all about heeding the call, listening to the call of you know, your, your fire within your divine spark being lit and paying attention to that fire and going out and getting it. And the three of wands is so confident, so sure that it's out there. It's never going to take its eye off the prize. 2022 is you holding your eye on that prize until you go and get it. And it's just a matter of you and this thing. It feels like, um, you know, joining forces, because it's like, you know, it's out there and the universe is also trying to bring it to you. So it's just a matter of time before the universe aligns you and meets you because it's a number six, right? Six is the number of balance and alignment as well as a number two. So this is about you aligning with this thing that you are expecting. And it's the expectation and the acting on the expectation that something is coming or you're moving in the direction of it, that brings it faster to you. Sometimes we have to take, you know, small acts of faith to show the universe that we expect it to come our way. That we trust and know that it's happening. Like here I see a lot of energy of moving, right? Relocating maybe for some of you. 
Maybe some of you are pursuing a passion, a, an interest. Some of you are pursuing a career. Maybe, you know, some of you are just uh, in general pursuing your, your purpose and it's taking you to new places. It's opening and broadening up your horizons. It's a number three with the three wands. It's an energy of expansion and growth, creation, right? So I'll give you an example. You guys right now are creating things. And 2022 is the year that you create and you move in the direction of your passion and the life that you want. So let's say if I'm actually moving somewhere, right? Or I'm expecting to purchase a home or move into a new place or apartment. I'm going to take little acts of faith to show the universe that I know that my perfect place is coming to me. So I might go out and, you know, buy new dishes, right? Even though I don't even have the place yet, I don't have the apartment, I don't have the house, but I'm still going to take acts of faith or do little things to show the universe that I'm expecting it. So I'm going to go out and buy that dish set, dish set right? I'm going to go out and, you know, buy those new blankets or those new pillows, you know? I'm going to do little things to show the universe that I'm expecting this move. I'm expecting my new home. And that's what this feels like. This is 2022 is a year where you take those steps and take that action, right? In expectation of. Because the Six of Swords here is here in the middle and it's telling me you're going somewhere. So does the Three of Wands. I mean, all three cards are saying you're going somewhere. A lot of this could be like a mental shift as well with the Six of Swords, sure. An energetic shift, yes, um, as well. But I really am feeling like this is very literal for some of you watching. 2022 is a year where you make moves. You make moves. And some of it could be because of, of a creative endeavor. And I say, say that, excuse me, um, because of the wands. The wands are super high energetic creative energy. And it's a number three, again, with the three wands is expansion, expansion, creation, and growth. Knight of Wands moves in the direction of and follows its passions with the wand. So wands are magic energy too. The will, the determination, the perseverance. So yeah, I, I see this as very fiery, lit up energy. Um where you're going and moving in the direction of your passions, of the things that bring you purpose, the things that are going to bring you your success. Look at that. I said success and this flew out literally as I said it. Everlasting success is assured if you remain honest and true and move in the direction of your truth. Okay. Frangipani. That was baby's breath, by the way. And this says Frangipani. You are truly beautiful on the inside and the outside. Absolutely you are. Maybe you should, you know, tell yourself that. Like, hype yourself up, right? In the mirror or something. Tell yourself every day that you're worth it. That you're deserving, you know? That you're beautiful. That you're strong. That you're passionate. You know, like, speak positive affirmations to yourself in 2022 as well. Um, I see energy of confidence here with the wands also, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that could be you somewhere in your chart. Um, but there's just like a, a desire to go get, like go get her energy here with the Knight of Wands and the expectation that it will happen, that you will make it happen. Because you're clear of mind, you're in alignment, you've let go of a lot of things that have maybe created limitations, you moved past the fog, you've cleared and parted the clouds to allow the sun in, okay? To answer the, the calling of your soul, your sun. And that has made you beautiful. And it is going to, right, bring you success. It is going to help you be in alignment so you can flow towards the things that you're expectant about. Take small acts of faith in 2022 to show the universe that you expect your good, okay? That's what this reading is also telling me as far as like advice. So I want, I kind of want one more and then I'm going to grab the Priestess of Light Oracle.
Le Sientes, I think. Gratitude and grace always looks lovely on you. Yes. Um, mantras, right? Or affirmations in Thanksgiving as if it's already yours. Again, the expectancy. Okay. If you're looking for a new home, you know, you, you thank the universe. Thank you, universe, for this beautiful new home that is mine and has been brought to me in perfect ways. You see, like it's like thanking the universe ahead of time for the thing, even if you don't have it physically in front of you, yet it's the expectation that it's already yours in gratitude that is going to bring it to you that much quicker. So let's see. Um, Priestess of Light Oracle. Let's see if we can get one card. For 2022, pile number three. Again, number three. Your pile number three, and you get the three of wands. It's just confer and you know, um, two threes is a six, right? With a six of swords. Anyway, I'm reaching, but <laughs> I'm just thinking about like there you go, number three. Energy of expansion and creation. 2022 is a year that you create and you move in the direction of that creation. How beautiful. So let's see if we can get one card here. Pile number three. Ah, okay. We get two. We're already at 20 minutes and I don't have time. Okay. Some of you get on my case because cards fly out. Now, if they had given me their face, I would I would accept it. But we're running on time here. And I got to fit in a fourth reading. And make sure that I can fit it all in one video, if you know what I mean. So that's why if I... Have a bunch of cards fly out. That's why I don't read them all. Um, it's very rare that I will, but it's because of time constraints. There we go. You see? All right. Sacred action. Decisive focus. Heck yeah. That's pretty much what this reading is about. Taking action, going in the direction of. All right. So it says... It's time to bring the active energy of the cheetah into your life. This swift cat represents decisive action and intense focus. Take, and that intense action would be the Knight of Wands. Take an honest look at the projects or situations that have for some reason been put on hold. Perhaps you've been waiting for a better time, unsure of what you want to focus on or even what action to take. Well, 22, you know, 2022 is a year where you are decisive and you decide to take that action because we see the Knight of Wands doing that. Um, this card is telling you to let go of the hesitation. Your soul longs for you to move forward on your path. Hold on. Hold on. Move forward on your path. Do you see that? Your soul longs for you to move forward on your path going forward. Where, whether your goal is personal, professional, or spiritual, you have the power to manifest and create whatever you desire. Now is the time to resolve to pick a direction that calls to your heart and freaking go in the direction of it, okay? Yeah, and act. Let go of your self-doubt and fear in, of making the wrong decision. The strength of your spirit will guide you every step of the way. Yes. Um, your spirit may also take you in the more global direction of sacred activism. The light of shared consciousness between animal and human can help you take decisive action to make the earth and all her life forms a top priority. And as your loving intention expands to encompass others, it accelerates the beneficial momentum and activates blessings worldwide. In this way, you have the power to heal the earth and yourself in your actions and choices every day. Affirmation, I focus on the options before me. I choose to take decisive action in the direction of my dreams. Yes, in the direction of your creation. In the direction of your success with the sun energy, right? Again, everlasting success is assured if you remain honest and true and focused with the Knight of Wands energy in the direction of, right, your dreams. So that is your message. Pile number three. Um, if you feel that this has connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Happy New Year to you, okay? Let me not forget to say and wish you a beautiful and wonderful Happy New Year. Um, if you want to... Support this channel, obviously like, share, subscribe. And if you want to take your support beyond YouTube, visit me down below in the description box. A link to my Etsy shop is down there. Pay me a visit there on Etsy. 
I have lovely handmade crystal jewelry, powerful tech tight crystals like Moldavite and Living Desert Glass. I have wonderful um, light language activation uh, sessions and personal readings when available as well. So much love to you. Pile number three viewers, take care of yourself, okay? And always keep shining. Pile number four viewers, you chose the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Swords, and you chose this wonderful piece of tiger's eye. I don't know if you can see that there. Really cool piece of tiger's eye for your crystal. I chose the aces for all of you to choose from because I figured it's a new year, right? Aces are new energy, so very fitting. Let's start with the Sacred Destiny Oracle to get one card to see, pile number four viewers, what the theme of your new year is going to be all about. The theme of your new year, 2022, pile number four viewers. The theme of your new year, 2022. And we have the Goddess Guidance card. So let's see, one card for the theme of your new year, 2022. Oh, okay. So we have Coventina Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your mind and body. And it says, Hathor, receptivity, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And then we have happiness. Wow. Okay, so 2022 is a year of, why do, I mean, the, it seems to be a theme, okay, across the board with all four readings, to be honest, where it feels like a cleansing, a healing, a releasing maybe of the last year, um, and a purifying of that energy, a transmutation of that energy, right? To make way so you can be receptive. So you can let the past go and clear your slate for the new, for 2022, basically. And this is feeling like you're moving in a, into a time where you're going to achieve your happiness. Brighter days are ahead. And this feels like over here that you are clearing the way to be and make yourself more receptive to receive your blessings, to receive your happiness. You are increasing your energy, your power, your beauty, the beauty in your life, the beauty that you're allowing into your life as well because Hathor can speak of that energy. Hathor speaks of like dancing, love, joy, you know, all these wonderful pleasures that oftentimes can bring you happiness and satisfaction. So your, your year, 2022, is of that. Enjoying yourself, living life to your fullest, living your best life, creating your best life, doing the things that make you happy, allowing yourself to receive the blessings that are divinely yours by divine right, by divine birthright. And oftentimes we have to make space in our heart, mind, body, spirit for the things that we want to receive. And oftentimes it does take a cleansing, a purifying, a healing, a releasing, a letting go to get rid of, rid of blockages or things that don't work for us anymore. We got to clear the way. And that's this energy here. Clear the way in order to be receptive to then receive our happiness, receive our good. 2022 is a year where you're doing that or you've already done the work over here, I feel. And now you're receptive. You're a magnet now. You're going to be in a receptive mode in 2022. It kind of does feel like all the all the good that you've put out into the world is now going to come back to you. So be ready to receive. So let's see. Pile number four. I'm using the Orion's Animal Tarot, by the way. Um, three cards for your new year. The theme of your new year, 2022. The theme of your new year, 2022. 
Pile number four viewers. Three cards. Whoa, okay. Wow, so we have the world. Haha, <laughs> that's a leveling up big time of energy. The world. Knight of Pentacles, that's positive forward momentum in a stable, secure, and grounded way. Oh, oh my gosh. Queen of Wands energy. Um, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus over here with the Knight of Pentacles. Then we have Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm super loving this because for one, your hard work is paying off. We do have the lovely worker bee here. And that energy indicates sweetness, a sweet life, right? Sweet rewards. The bees do work hard to make that honey and it's the fruit of their labor and it's sweet. And it's it represents sunshine. The bees represent the sun. So we have the sun here as well with the dolphins in the happiness card. Again, Lemurian energy, star seeds um, connected to Lemuria. But what this feels like is this is beautiful fish fish are a symbol of abundance and they can oftentimes symbolize fertility and being fed you know and multi, multi yeah multiplication okay things multiplying um and that fertility being multiplied because fish represent spawning Right? And that's what I mean by fertility. So I'm, I'm trying to read all the animal symbolism. Um, and this beautiful little chinchilla, how cute, right? Um, <laughs> so bear with me here as I try to piece this together as far as, you know, the medicine, the animal medicine, plus the card meanings and everything like that. The world is about your leveling up and your success. It is about the successful closing out of a difficult chapter or a chapter in your life where you learned and you had a lot of experience and you've leveled up from that experience. You've applied what you needed to apply. And you've leveled up because of it. Now that you've leveled up, you've done the work, you've evolved, you've successfully concluded something, you purified it, right? Alchemized it, transmuted it, healed it. You are now receptive. You're in a receptive state. To receive your good, to receive your blessings, to receive your reward, your honey, your sweet life, your happiness. Because you've done the work. Bees will do the work to have their reward. You're gathering, okay? The, the chinchilla energy is, is giving me the energy of gathering, You're gathering your harvest for the work that you've put in. Now you will have your honey. You will have your sweet life. You will have your happiness. The theme of 2022 is your happiness. It is your sweet life. It is everything that you work for. It is everything that you have concluded to get to this point so you could be in a receptive state to now receive your harvest, your happiness, your blessings. Queen of Wands is about inspiration, action, inspiration in action, right? A lot of the wands are. She's also very charismatic and fiery to the point where it's like she wants to accomplish things. She wants to create. She's also highly intuitive. She's gathering ideas, taking action upon those ideas with the Knight of Pentacles energy moving in a very... Um, and this is not a normally a word that I get with the Knight of Pentacles, but it feels calculated. Planning, right? Planners. Um, you're planning these ideas out, these actions that you're going to take towards these ideas. You're planning them out thoroughly, meticulously. You're dotting every I, crossing every T. And it's done in such a methodical, uh, well-planned way that it's it's bound to be stable, right? Because Knight of Pentacles doesn't rush into anything. It plans properly in accordance with what it needs to do, how it needs to do it. So that way everything is secure and stable always. So 2022 is a year where you take action on the, the visions and the ideas that you have in mind for yourself. And you're doing it in such a very thorough way that there is success on the other side of it. There's, it's like there's no room for failure because you've done your homework. 
you're taking action and moving in the direction of things that you have perhaps with the Knight of Pentacles have invested in, things that you have uh, created and have you, you have been inspired to pursue. This is about you gathering all your creative energy, taking action towards that creative energy, putting those ideas to work like the worker bee and gaining something from it. What you're gaining is your happiness, your, your success, you're gaining money, you're, you're maybe taking on some kind of like entrepreneurship perhaps with the Queen of Wands. You are making money from your creative ideas and endeavors with these two cards here. You are being successful at it at the same time. And there's going to be so much reward for what it is that you're doing that happiness is overflowing. The pleasures, right, of the Hathor energy, the love, the happiness, right, that comes with these, this work and the fruit of this labor is going to bring you a lot of good times, a, a lot of pleasure, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. 2022 is a year where you're in a position to receive so much good for your work, your labor, your ideas, your creativity. Dolphins are, are very vocal, wonderful creatures, right? And um, they have a voice to share. So I feel like maybe you're going to be using your voice in some way. Maybe sharing your, your creative voice. If you have an idea, don't hold it. Don't hold on to it. Share it, okay? That's the feeling here. Sharing it with others is what's going to bring you the sweetness of life or maybe the pleasures that come with, you know, fulfilling your purpose. Because you can be and activate your best self by sharing your creative ideas, acting upon your inspirations that are God-given. And there are rewards for that. Okay, blessings that come from that, pleasure that comes from that, that brings you joy and fulfillment on a personal level, but it could also bring joy to others. That's why this says here, you know, allow yourself to receive this will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. There's something about you where you're going to be sharing the joy that you have on an inherent creative level. You're going to be sharing that joy with others and bringing them happiness as well as bringing yourself happiness in 2022. You're working on something. The Knight of Pentacles is indicating the work. You're in a position now where you've leveled up. You've gotten, you put a lot behind you, right? And you've activated something in your, in your consciousness. And you're working on something that now is going to bring you this happiness. And this happiness is going to be expanding to others as well, like, Maybe you, you're creating a product or something where you have a great idea for an invention. I don't know. And it's bringing joy to other people through it. You could be sharing your voice in some way which brings other people joy and happiness, but also brings you joy, happiness, and fulfillment because you're, you're being your best self. You're activating your higher self and you're operating from your higher self. So that energy reverberates. There's something about spreading joy here, spreading love, spreading happiness um, with what you do, with the work that you do, with the creative endeavors that you're pursuing. Maybe part of, you know, your purpose is, you know, is that, is your creativity. And through that creativity, you know, you share ideas, you share joy, you share love, you share happiness. Um... But the reason why you can do this is because you've healed a lot of the past and you've leveled up in a major way with the world and the purification card where now it's like it's free flowing. Your blessings are coming in. Um, you've been working on things and your growth and your expansion and your evolution with the world energy. This is your graduation. 2022 is going to show you that all the hard work that you've been putting into something or all the creative stirrings that you have been experiencing, 
there is, I feel with the sun here, there is light at the end of the tunnel, right? So all your hard work has not been in vain. It's, it's leading to something. And this is your moment now to receive. This is the Flower Petals Oracle. I'm just going to see if we can get at least two here. Buttercup. Wow. Be ready. The best is on its way. Do you see that? Uh-huh. Your happiness, your joy, your fulfillment, all the creative ideas and visions that you've been working toward or have been preparing yourself for, okay? That is what it's on the way in 2022. And we have Iris. That could be somebody's name. Look at that. Spread your creative wings and take flight. Okay, could it be any more like confirming? Exactly. <laughs> 2022 is the year that you do that. You spread your creative wings and you take flight. But because you're spreading your wings and you are taking flight, um, you're actually bringing so much good your way, right? Because it says, be ready, the best is on the way. You're bringing so much beauty, love, and good, and happiness, and fulfillment your way. You're also bringing income your way with the Knight of Pentacles, steady income. Right, And as you take steady steps with the Knight of Pentacles towards your creative goals, ideas, and the things that you have been inspired with, um, you do receive your good because you're acting on the inspiration of your higher self and you're working in co-creation with the divine. You're working in co-creation with your higher self. You're responding and acting upon the nudges given to you by your higher self. Your inner being right, is in the forefront now. And every it kind of feels like 2022 is a year that every decision you make is based upon the knowing of your inner being, your higher self. Your higher self is leading the way. You have purified, I feel like, a lot of the past, a lot of the shadow. You've leveled up from that. So it's your higher self that is in the forefront. Your higher self is the captain of the ship moving forward into 2022 because you graduated. Okay, so let's see. Uh, final Oracle card, Priestess of Light. I'm going to read directly from the book. I just want one card. Twenty twenty two, the theme of your new year, pile number four. You are stepping into your power with the Queen of Wands energy. Okay. Clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation, trust, maybe even trusting yourself more. Again, being in alignment with your inner self. She reminds me of the priestess of Delphi, by the way. Um, you're in alignment with your higher self, okay? And that is how you're navigating your life. Again, the intuitive energy of the queen of wands. She always usually has the black cat on by her side in the normal like rider weight. Uh, version of the deck but let's see if we can read directly from the book hold on okay the oracle delphi yes see the oracle delphi delphi gazes into her scrying bowl patiently waiting for the images to take shape she knows that a message is coming so she remains peaceful and unafraid the expectation right the expectation that reminds me of pile number three to be honest there are two steps to her process, however. Once she receives the information, which often comes in the form of riddle, she must interpret its meaning. It's like decoding your life, right? We get sign synchronicities all the time in our everyday world, right? And it's up to us connecting to our inner being to interpret and decode our life as it happens, right? Because that's how spirit speaks to us and helps guide the way, helps us yeah, with, with guidance. This process applies to your intuitive experience as well. Whether you realize it or not, you do have the ability to receive important messages from spirit. There you go. You also have the wisdom to make accurate interpretations. This card is telling you it's time to let go of old doubts and open up to your own clairvoyant process. Like the oracle with her scrying bowl, you might find it helpful to use specific tools and techniques. Perhaps you will be called... To read oracle cards. Yeah, that's possible. Totally. 
or pursue mediumship, whatever your form, whatever, I'm sorry, whatever form your intuitive process may take, let yourself be a trusting receiver. Whoa, hold up. Receptivity, right? Be receptive. Then take your time interpreting the message and decoding your life. <laughs> It may seem complex at first, like you're putting the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle together, but if you relax and let go of the need to perform and the need to be right, soon the answers you seek will become clear. There is something you must know about your oracular powers. There is no wrong scene. Everything exists in energetic potential. As the energy changes, the outcomes you see will change as well. Be open to receiving receptivity, right, of Hathor and patient in your interpretations. Trust yourself for you are the oracle of your eternal life you're darn right right like it's like all of us have a map to our best life ever and it's up to us to decode that life to decode that map i'm sorry in order to get us to the best life ever and i feel like 2022 is a year that you do that and you follow your inspirations because you're more receptive to receiving them right and all this beauty and inspiration is going to lead you to your happiness lead you to your good and i think 2022 is where you you interpret your your map the map to your best life okay so spread your creative wings and take flight be ready because the best is on its way um and it says affirmation more and more i trust in my own intuitive process i open to spirit's guidance in understanding the messages i receive heck yeah so file number four you're on the road to your best life spirit is gonna give you messages you and your intuitive understanding inner being and nudges are going to lead you to that best life be open to the creative inspirations that spirit gives you move in the direction of them with faith stability with the knight of pentacles knowing okay that it's leading you to something something good trust yourself trust the path that you're on trust the creative inspiration and nudges that you get you're reaching new levels of success and happiness you've leveled up and i think that leveling up has given you that ability to decode the map of your life okay so Pile number four, this is your reading. Happy New Year to you. Sending you much love right into the new year. I hope you get every wish that your heart desires in 2022. Uh, if you feel that like this has helped and connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel if you want to take it beyond um, to support me further. Check me out on Etsy. The link to my Etsy store is down below in the description box. Pay me a visit. I have really cool handmade crystal jewelry I make there by hand. I have powerful tech-type crystals like Moldavite Limian Desert Glass. And I also have light language activations and uh, personal readings when available. Okay, so much love to all of you. Take care and always keep shining.